published 1351 EDT, the 2nd of September 2017, updated 1511 EDT, the 2nd of September 2017. A little-known midfielder with the San Jose Earthquakes has sent a tremor rippling through the Republic of Ireland's World Cup prospects. Valery Kazrishvili, the lone MLS player in the Georgian squad, scored the first half equaliser to shift the plates under Group D for Martin O'Neill's men. Now nothing short of a home victory against Serbia, 30 winners over Moldova in Belgrade, on Tuesday will suffice if Ireland are to revive their ambitions of qualifying for the finals as group winners. Shane Duffy scored his first international goal with a header after just four minutes into Palacy. The Brighton Hove Albion defender slides on his knees after breaking the deadlock. George's goalkeeper Georgie Makariadze claimed he was elbowed by Kieran Clark in the build-up. Georgia deservedly leveled through Valeri Kasashvili after good work from Yano Ananidze. Kasashvili number eight celebrates and the hosts dominated possession after the early setback Serbia beat Moldova to move two points clear at the top of Group D in World Cup qualifying Georgia 4,231 Makaridze, Kashia, Kirkvelia, Kakabadze, Navalovsky, Ananidze, Kazrishvili, Kokolav in 90, Quake vs Kerry, Chivila, Jigari, Chanturia 75, Kavila, Tire, Merabashvili 85, UNUSED, Subs, Kaskvadze, Lodge, Shanidze, Shurgalashvili, Daushvili, Chanturia Arabidze, Aberjania, Divyalishvili, Sikar Lidze booked Quake vs Kerry, Jighari Gold Kazrishvili 3 for REPUBLIC of Ireland 4231 Randolph, Christie, Clark, Duffy, Ward, Whelan Murphy 79, Arta McGeady 62, Brady, McLean, Walters, Long Unas Subs Westwood, Elliot, O. Shea, Kyo O'Dowda, K. Long, Hulahan, Aurahan, Myler, Hayesbook, McLean, Golduffy for referee Ivan Krosliak. If further points are dropped, Ireland could yet face a make or break showdown against Wales in Cardiff next month for a playoff spot. On a sticky night in the Caucasus, Ireland chose the wrong moment to record one of the sloppiest performances under O'Neill. Usually adept at protecting a lead, Ireland scored early through Shane Duffy before a collective sense of apathy seemed to blight the green shirts. Across midfield, Ireland were outgunned as Georgia, technically superior, dominated possession and dictated play. For close to an hour, Ireland played second fiddle to Georgia, who fully deserved the 34th minute leveller, and might have gone in front but for resourceful Irish defending, in which Brighton defender Duffy was immense. It took the introduction of Aidan McGeady to apply a tourniquet to the bleeding, but Ireland couldn't prize an opening as they recorded a third successive draw, and this one may come back to haunt them. O'Neill made two changes from the team which drew with Austria in June, a recalling Kieran Clark in central defence and Shane Long in attack. As expected, John Walters was past fit to win his 50th cap, becoming the 38th Irish player to reach that landmark, with Glenn Whelan keeping the captain's armband. O'Neill stressed the need for Wyland to get on the front foot and to keep the ball better than they had against Georgia last October. He couldn't have wished for a better start as Ireland drew first blood from the first foray into to the home territory. Duffy wheels away in delight after rising to score his first goal for the Republic of Ireland. The visitors could not have wished for a better start to proceedings but they were frustrated. John Walters sent a looks dejected after Georgia equalised with 34 minutes gone into Belize. Shane Long was an isolated figure for spells of the game but he worked tirelessly for his side. Solomon Kirkvelia gets his boot on the ball to thwart the progress of Long on one attack after Walters was fouled on halfway, Cyrus Christie pumped the free kick into the box where Clark and Duffy were two on one against keeper Georgie Makaridze. As
Clark and Mikaridze collided, Duffy towered over them both to direct his header into to the unguarded net. The centre-half's first Irish goal compensated for the late effort against Austria in June which was controversially ruled out. The early strike should have settled Ireland but instead it was Georgia who were provoked as they set about in search of an equaliser. With the full-backs raiding to effect on either flank, Ireland were pinned back for a spell and became reliant on sporadic counter-attacking. Even so, they should have stretched the lead in the 20th minute when Shane Long and John Walters combined on the right and the latter's cross picked out James McLean in space. From eight yards out, however, the winger's header lacked conviction and accuracy. It was to prove a costly miss as Georgia seized the initiative with Spartak Moscow playmaker Yano Anamdai's repeatedly threading holes in the Irish cover. Georgia's Nika Quake vs Kiri is shown a yellow card by referee Ivan Krosliak in the qualifier. Martin O'Neill issues instructions from the sidelines during a challenging contest into the Lacey Duffy came close to scoring once more in the first half but Makaridze palmed his effort to weigh Georgia's OTAR Kakabadze in action with Republic of Ireland's James McLean on Saturday. Water break had been due at the 25th minute but it was cancelled as the temperature in Tbilisi dropped before kick-off. How O'Neill could have done with a timeout to reorganise his troops. Instead, the white onslaught continued with Anandise, inevitably, involved in the equaliser when he ghosted past Irish lines, deftly evaded Christian and teed up Kasa Ashvili to slip the ball under the advancing Darren Randolph. Ireland were up against it but they lifted the siege just before half-time when Duffy almost scored again. From Robbie Brady's corner, the giant stopper sent his head a goal bound but Makaridze beat the ball away. The pattern of play continued initially after the break but the Irish defence held firm and Georgia found it hard to pick gaps. The pace of the game gradually slowed as the heat sapped strength from tiring limbs, prompting O'Neill to replace Harry Arter with McGeady, the Irish match winner in Tbilisi three years ago. Robbie Brady gets on the ball under pressure from Georgia's Valier and G. Villier in the group D. Ty Jambal Jigauri struggles for the ball with Harry Arter at the Boris Paychard Z. Dynamo Arena Republic of Ireland fans will still be confident of World Cup qualification despite the 11 draws which enabled Ireland to seize a foothold and set about seeking a second goal. A slick counter-attack involving Christie and James McLean ended with Walters heading a fraction over. McGeady then dribbled from deep and tried his luck with a shot that was blocked, before Brady tested the keeper from distance. Late on, McLean surged into the box but Makaridze denied him. It was better from Ireland but it was never enough.